welcome to another video and a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real. Uh, and a video that's been a long time coming. You wouldn't know this. I know this because we schedule these things and it got pushed back and pushed back and I'm so excited to show you. It wasn't pushed back because I wasn't excited. I wanna dive into all of these things. And what we're gonna be getting into today, as you may have seen in the thumbnail, it gives it away a little bit, are activities. So on this here channel, in this here house, we don't just haul things, we like to live in the wizarding world. And yes, one day we do hope to go to Universal again. Um, maybe, hopefully, close to when Epic Universe comes about, maybe? I don't know, we come into some money and we're friends to watch our cats? I don't know. Anybody want to offer? anything. Um, so we just really like to be in the world. We like to world build the house to make it feel like we're in the world. And we also like to do things that are Harry Pottery. So we haven't done like a DIY in a while. We will end up doing those. We've done some kitchen witch stuff. We'll do more of those. Um, but these are some things I was going to say that every day, the everyday folk, <laughs> the everyday magical person can get their paws on and play in the world of Harry Potter. So we've got a variety of things, including artsy things, um, including things you build. We'll have them in categories, timestamps, all the, what is it, doobly-doos is what the, uh, what does its name say? Uh, in the down belows is what I call it. And I'm going to start off right now, right here, with the most obvious. The most obvious activity, and I will say, um, keeping in mind things that can be done by one person or two people, because we don't have friends close by. Um, so when it comes to even board games, we tend to focus on two players, uh, two player games. And so everything in here, you don't need another person or you could share. Sharing is caring. I think who says that? Tigger? Eeyore? I don't know. Somebody from Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Wrong fandom. So I thought I'd start with the most obvious activity. And by the way, it's a great activity for a meeting. You know, if you just want to keep your hands busy and also if it helps you focus. And that's coloring books, my friends. And I had done brought up two of like maybe six to seven coloring books that I have. I think I have every house. There's also a new, there's a um, like combination um, like book set of them. There's a, a brand new one. I shared that in the Discord group. So if you're not in the Discord group and you want all the new and exciting things, hop on over there. I'm not the only one sharing them. Um, but this is the first coloring book that I'm going to show you. Uh, like I said, it's the most obvious thing. You know, it's Harry Potter. You're filling it in. You get to color things the way you want to color things. Uh, so we got Hogwarts here. There are house coloring books. There are coloring books of all kinds. Heck, there is. Oh, we went dark. We just went to the dark side real quick. Voldemort, here we come. <laughs> Speaking of dark, we have glow in the dark coloring books. How interesting. I, I have not colored in these yet. But like this one, you see, this is the glow in the dark bit. Are you getting that? The, oh, actually the page opens. Did not realize that. What's happening there? Oh, it goes the other way. Oh, it's the duel. Do you guys see that? <laughs> oh, Harry! <laughs> Wrong scene. Um, and, oh, look at that. We just, we just wrapped this scene in a book club video. Look at old Salazar Slytherin right there. His whole face is glow in the dark. So here is a little flip through. This is not a new coloring book. I just want to show simple ways. Oh, look at the dummy. Um, that you can get active in the Harry Potter world. And these are probably the most affordable ways. Uh, one is $12.99. This one is $16.99. Although I often see these and many others that you're going to see on sale on Amazon. And most of these can be found on Amazon. And as always, everything will be linked down below. We're keeping in the art category. This isn't quite a coloring book, but it's right up the diagon alley of the coloring book. And it's actually something I've seen before, but I've never tried. It's called, and I got it also to bring into the muggle job during meetings, you know what I'm saying? Just kinda, it, it helps me focus. If it does you, I'd love to know. But it's called Spiroglyphics. I don't know why it's reminding me of Spyro. The dragon it has nothing to do with Spyro. But it's this right here. And let's see, magically reveal Harry Potter characters and creatures with Spiroglyphics. From the twisted mind of genius puzzle designer Thomas some um, Harry Potter spiral glyphics. Each puzzle begins as a featureless spiral. So let me give you an example. Let's see. Featureless spiral. So we got a spiral right here. I actually don't know how this works. 
I know you're filling in lines, but as you fill in the lines, a character or creature from the Harry Potter films emerges just like magic, which reminds me of the scene when Lockhart says, it's magic. Isn't that what he says? Why are you looking at me like that? Do you not know how this works? So here is like an example of the images that are revealed. You're just filling, you're just taking a pen and you're filling it in. Do I fully understand how? No, I really don't. I know there's like these indentations. Um, uh, let's see, from Heroes Like Harry, Hermione. Yeah, it just emerges. It's just like magic. He's also the author of Quirkles and 1000 dot to dot activity books. So I don't know. He likes dots and lines, this guy. But here's another one in line with coloring books. Oh, and the price on this one is $14.99. So also pretty reasonable. Okay, so the next one is also in book form. And I've had it for a while. Actually, I, there's like a first edition and a second edition. Um, I'm really doing a lead up here. <laughs> but one of you in the Discord group mentioned one of these a while ago. And I was like, I've got a video coming. I've got a video coming. Well, she's finally here. And that item is a watercolor kind of coloring book. So there are two that are out so far. And this is by Inside Editions. Um, on Amazon, it is much cheaper than the back cover. So the back cover says $27.50. On Amazon, it's currently $16.03. So get your paws on this sucker. It's gorgeous. Um, and there's a real walkthrough. Uh, if you're a beginner, I'm a beginner watercolorer, but look at the options. This is the first book that came out. I don't remember the year, but here are some options. You got the night bus right there. Birdie bots, every flavor beans, the sorting hat and what it does. Oh, and the um, time turner. And then before I show you kind of how it's presented, this is the second one. Oh, this one intrigued me so much more. It's magical creatures, you guys. Flora and Fauna. So this one was just called 32 Step-by-Step -step Enchanting Projects. So it's just enchanting things, which is kind of everything. But this is Flora and Fauna. So we're getting all of the magical creatures and the plants. Um, so yeah, very cute. We got a Niffler. We've got a Pygmy Puff. We've got a Bow Truckle, a, a Cornish Pixie. Now, so you open it up. And this is how it opens up. So you can even fold the page back. It makes it easy to actually color on it. Uh, oh, look at that little Norbert. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. Oh, I wanna watercolor that little cutie pie. Um, oh, it's so enchanting. I love, watercolor is one of my favorite forms of um, like prints that I see. Art is just one of my favorite forms of uh, mediums for, for art when I see people make things. Um, look at the dirigible plums. So here's the kind of the intro. So it actually suggests a specific watercolor palette, which I find really helpful. If you are new, if you are a beginner, um, and, and you're kind of told, Hey, here you, this is what, this is what you need. It makes it a lot easier. Um, and so I will say it's not super cheap, but they recommend the Windsor Newton Cotman half pan studio set 45. And this is an example of the colors. So what it's saying is all you need is this set and all of these colors can be used to make everything inside be what it's kind of expected to be or what it can be. Um, so like we've got a cat. What else we got? Here's the pygmy puff. It says right over there. Um, oh, Aragog right there. What else we got? Hedwig. Um, and I think there are they show you a little bit of like the process of painting it. So you're not just like left blind. Every creature, you get a walkthrough of how to paint that. Ooh, we got Foxy the Phoenix. How cute. Oh my God, we get the troll. We even have Grip Hook. Is Grip Hook flora or fauna? Excuse me. I mean, thinks not. <laughs> but anyway, really, really cute. I feel like if I had to pick one of the two, um, I'll knock stuff off my desk. I'd probably go with this one because I love magical creatures, but like even the night bus will be fun to do. Um, and obviously Amazon is the better choice as far as price goes, but you can watercolor your little wizarding world heart away in these suckers. Most of these things I haven't dabbled in, which is why I've wanted to get to this uh, for quite a while. And here's another set of items I've had for a while and I've wanted to play around in. 
Uh, anything that can just like, keep my hands busy and sometimes is a little bit mindless is really fun. Um, it just helps. I think it can help like calm you down. Um, I do not remember the order in which I got these. I think this is the order they came out. But anyway, it's origami. Have I ever made origami in my life? I don't know. But it is kind of fitting to Harry Potter. We do get... Um, where is the little creature? It's like the little swan that uh, Draco makes that goes flying. But first up, we have this one. These first two, actually, I'll just show you right now. So we have the Harry Potter Origami Volume 1 featuring 15 foldable crafts. And then we have, I'm assuming this is Volume 2. There it is, Volume 2, which has the night bus. Um, well, it's got more than what's on the front. Look, you can origami yourself a little Norbert. I think just going off the covers, I'd probably go for this one, but let's see what's inside. And the price on uh, retail price is $12.99. I'm sure on Amazon it's much cheaper. Um, let me find me a fun one. Oh, you could, I mean, you could do a howler. So in volume one, we have a howler. And we have the example of when these things, um, sorry, that was the pixies, I think, show up. But here is it walking you through how to fold because normally with origami, she says, never really done it. You have to be a bit precise to get what you're going for. Oh my God. And the other thing that it shows on the bottom is the difficulty level. So for some reason, apparently cats are pretty easy in real life. I don't know. I don't know. They've been quite a challenge uh, filming today. <laughs> some of these can be a little kind of quirky and silly and um, basic. Uh, but I don't know. That could be fun. Like, I don't know what's happening with this broom right now. Yeah, maybe volume two is the better one. I don't know. You tell me. She's selling it here. Is that a stag? So we have a stag Patronus. Let me give you a little. Is this a proper way? I'm a proper uh, reviewer. That's <laughs> how we do things. Uh, these are all the pages. So this is all the paper that you're going to need. And then this is... The other one, those are the pages, and now's the night bus. Hagrid's hut. We could do Dobby. That was kind of creepy. Can we backpedal right there? One second. Hold on. We could do the Fort Anglia. What? What? Oh, what? That's a Dementor. Does that look like a? De I could, okay. I guess I could see the arms. Okay, fine. But what? What did they do? What did they do to this house off? It's creepy. Mildly creepy. Um, Norber, oh, you could do Mad-Eye Moody's Eye. Right, anyway, I'm going on. The one that I wanted the most, um, and I'll probably do first, uh, is also the more expensive of the three, and it is the Origami Chess Set. On Amazon, retail price is $29.99, but as of this moment, right now, it is $19.98. So if it's not $19.98 when you're gonna go buy it, maybe hold off and wait, because they'll probably put it on sale. Um, and there's a lot more going on here. So you can make the whole chess set but it's the characters, so it's not wizard chess in the way that we know it, um, but it is your characters. So here are the examples of all of the characters going on the chessboard. There's the chessboard. Have I looked inside? No, I haven't. Um, we have Velcro. So it opens up like so. And then on the one side, what is this? We have the book with instructions for all of the characters. I'm gonna guess the other book. Look at that, is that Harry? I'm gonna guess the other book. Um, oh, yeah, well, that's a better Dobby. Less traumatizing, thank you very much. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, the chessboard is already done for you. So look at this. It's like a board game. It just opens up like a board game. Same on the other side. Folds up, what's the difference here? What is that? Fire. Ooh. And then you have a more basic side. But that folds up and goes in there. What the heck are these? Oh, this might be your actual paper. Can you tell I haven't used this stuff? And all of your other... Oh, God, I'm not going to be able to put this back in. All of the other... Wrong side. Papery bits are in the other pocket. So there you have it. You can grab some paper and make some magical things with origami. The last item is really tapping into my, the last item in the kind of art section, I'm calling it. It's really tapping into my childhood. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comments down below if you used to do these. And they are paint by number. Um, is paint by number slightly wasteful? Yeah, I mean, I don't love that all the little paints are in little things, but it's kind of fun. It's contained. You're not really doing these 
all that often. It's a treat yourself, okay? And there aren't too many out there. So I know of at least two on Amazon and this is one of them. We've got all Harry Potter with his books and Hedwig. So it has that sort of like paint by number look, obviously, because you're filling it in. We ain't that skilled, you know what I'm saying? And then it comes with the paints over there. I presume it comes with the toothbrush. Toothbrush. <laughs> That's a look. Uh, contents, what paintbrush, one printed board, 12 paint pots and instructions. Pretty straightforward, just like when I was a kid. So here is the back of it. I feel like they're coming back in style. It says the size is 11 inches by 14 inches. And the, the price on Amazon is just under $19, um, which I think is, pr is probably cheaper. But I will say, if you like this one and you want to go bigger, uh, the last time that we went into Barnes & Noble, they had, like, probably this big. It wasn't even that expensive, I don't think. It wasn't that much more expensive. Maybe, like, 30 bucks or 35 bucks or something. Hogwarts. Hogwarts Castle. The whole shebang. Did I almost get it? Yes. Um, but I think I'm going to start with this sucker. Might end up bringing it into work or something. I don't know, but I'm excited to paint by number. So there you go. Another activity. Next category, one of the most obvious activities, obviously, um, are board games. And one day I will show you my whole board game collection. We have quite a lot. I will say all of them, to my knowledge, are two player um, or less, I think. I don't know if we have a single player one. Maybe we do, uh, but we'll do a video on that. But I do want to explore more beyond two players. Uh, but here are some. I'm not 100% sure why I got this one. I'll tell you why. But first up, we got Jenga, you guys. Here, let's just, let's take it out. Actually, let me get you the price. Jenga is $24.95. So if you're anything like me, and you're willing to pay $24.95 for a wee bit of anxiety, uh, there you go. So. The one thing that's different about this Jenga is I did not prep it. I did not prep it for this video. I don't remember extra bits in Jenga. Do you guys know? I could read the directions. We've got like a door, different house crests, and they have little pegs on them. I'm sure somebody out there has probably played this Jenga. What? I don't know. But um, if you can't tell, it has a different look to it. It does say Harry Potter, in case you forget you're playing a Harry Potter game. That's what makes it Harry Potter. It's got the label on it, okay? <laughs> it's brown. But it's Jenga, so if you want everything like me to basically be Harry Potter, then you can get yourself some Harry Potter Jenga. Um, but that is not the only board game. I also picked this one up, um, and that is because my bookstore also sells board games, and they have a decent number of Harry Potter ones, and I purchased this one on credit, because I was like, why not? I've heard good things about it. I've never played the original game. It is called Strike. I think, I don't know, what's the deal with it? It's by Ravensburger. Where does it say? Two to five players, 15 minutes. I think we all know like how long Jenga can take. It can really vary. Um, with me, not that long, okay? I do not have steady hands. Um, wands at the ready, face off against fellow witches and wizards in a magical duel. Cast Confundus. Um, a whole bunch of spells, I'm not gonna read them all off. <laughs> and other spells from the wizarding world by rolling matches in the arena. Each match has a magical effect and allows the witch or wizard who cast it to collect matching dice. As the game progresses, players lose die, duels exhaust, even the greatest wizards and witches and wizards, the last player with dice remaining wins. So here is an example of like what it looks inside. And you know what, let's open it. We're here, we're here to review. Not actually playing the game, but so here it comes with these die. Really interesting. And we have this sort of arena, the die rolling arena right there. It seems like a very simple, straightforward and kind of quick game, which I'm down for. I like a bit of variety in the games that we have. Um, and this one is just under $20 on Amazon, so not too shabby. And before we leave that category, one of the items or kind of activities I didn't include, and it is probably my favorite activity. I mean, reading is an activity I could include, like the Harry Potter books, um, and that's puzzles. I love, love, love puzzles, and for some reason I partly forgot to include one, but it's kind of fitting because we may or may not be doing an entirely puzzle-focused 
here's my collection video because the size of that collection is quite large. Um, and are there more puzzles I want? Maybe, maybe. Uh, it's a never ending thing, but I love them. And we'll get into that in that video, but obviously that's an option for an activity. The next one is also pretty obvious an activity. And it's one I have done here on a live stream and many of you love and I have become obsessed myself or we obsessed. And that's Lego, my friends. Like there's so many I can show you. I have a few more. We're gonna be doing one for sure that's gonna tie into the book that we just read. Um, but ones that I picked up some time, that's a little bit, some time ago, several months ago before they retired are these um, house banners. So they're not available anymore. Really anything I was about to show you was retired because Lego doesn't keep these things around, okay? Um, and I have the Gryffindor one and the Hufflepuff one because I would like eventually at some point when ready um, to do these with my husband and do like a q and I was gonna say a face off. I don't wanna make it super competitive. I mean, but he's a Hufflepuff, I'm a Gryffindor. So I got one of each. And what's really cool is they show like the um, common room area for each house. So here's Hufflepuff house. I would expect these probably didn't jump too high in price from resellers um, who are putting them out there since it's retired. Here's the Gryffindor one, if you are curious. Uh, so look forward to that. It's probably not gonna happen in, in the next several months, uh, but at some point, so we're gonna hang on to it like many others. Let me know in the comments down below. Also, what Legos are you excited for? Uh, there are a few in the new line. We have been sharing in Discord some of the new lines that are dropping or coming up, what we want, who's been getting what. It's been a blast. We're just feeding on each other's a Lego love. And the next item, which is still kind of in the like, um, what category is this? piecing things together. I guess the puzzles could have been in this category. Putting things together. You actually would have seen, kind of like one other item I'm gonna show you, if you watched my What I Got For Christmas, like kind of almost live unboxing reaction, long video, cause I got a lot of things. And in it, from my brother, I got what's called, it's by, let's see, it's called the Magic House. And it's by 3D Creative Bookends. And the most common term for these are book nooks. And this is the one that I got. So a lot of the things I've been showing you are like licensed Harry Potter. There aren't really any that I've seen or too many that I've seen that are licensed Harry Potter. So this one is not licensed and isn't like straightforward in your face Harry Potter, but it's pretty darn close. Like it's still basically diagonally. I mean, you've got the magic shop, You've got, I don't know, owls and witchy hats. And um, so if you're not familiar with a book nook, basically they are, let's see, does it have a description? Um, oh, and let's get the price for you. This one is on the pricier end. So this one goes for $44.99. Basically, they are, they're just like pieced, or they're small pieces of wood that are already pre-cut. Um, and ready to go, and I would assume directions inside to tell you how to put it together. And then it creates, let me give you a look at the back. So there's the back. Um, it creates a whole little scene that you can put in between your books. Like how cool is that? And it lights up. So this one says equipped with four controllable lights. Um, so I'm assuming they're particularly placed in how they light it up. Um, but this one just kind of gave me diagonally vibes as soon as I opened it and saw it. Um, and then there's one that looks like the Hogwarts Express. I do believe, pretty sure, let me know in the comments down below that there are some Etsy sellers that do outright Harry Potter because they can kind of get away with it a little bit more without the license, even though you, know, you, you can't, but you can. Um, yeah, magic gathering quietly. The midnight disappears after casting a spell. Oh, I don't know. Is that how they're selling it? Anyway, it's not Harry Potter full on, but it is enough. It's a wizarding world. Um, and a really fun idea and different idea. And I will say along the lines, a couple things I haven't shown is there are some like paper crafts out there that aren't quite um, origami that you can do. And there are some metal crafts. Those can be a little pricey. I'll link some down below with everything else so you can see. Um, but those are some other activities that kind of fit in this group here. Okay, and this next group, I think we're calling like fabric -y businesses. Fabric, <laughs> things fabricy, And much like the one I just showed you, one over here, um, 
This was also gifted to me by my, by my brother for Christmas. So if you saw that video, then you saw this one. And it's by the brand Woobles. I think in the Christmas video, I said Wobbles. Pretty, like 100% sure. It's actually called Woobles. And he got me the best option for me out there um, from this website. Although there are a lot, I'll get into that. Dumbledore and Fox. So basically what these are, this is a crochet kit that includes everything that you need to crochet Dumbledore. He's cute, isn't he? Um, so I'm excited to do him, do, to do him, whoa. Um, let's see, it includes yarn step-by-step -step videos, pre-started piece even. Um, you've got the four millimeter crochet hook, plastic eyes stuffing. It says right at the top what's in there. And then you have a little foxy bird with Dumbledore. So let me give you an example of some of the options that this brand carries for Harry Potter. I think their newest release are the house mascots. So we've got like the lion. Um, I think they did, 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 I think this is a raven. So sorry for those of you, you know, very attached to an eagle. Um, it is a raven. You're interesting looking. There are bigger bundles, like many more characters. This one was a bundle, so you can get the two together. There's also Harry with Hedwig as a bundle. This one is currently going for 45. Original price is 47, so not really a deep sale at all. You can get Dobby with the sock. You can get Voldemort with Nagini. Like, um, you can even get little scarves. But it's not only like a contained thing, it's a fun way to begin learning how to crochet. And it's something that I have wanted to learn as well as another one. We're gonna get into this fabric-y category. So there's the first item. The next set of items um, are ones that we bought for ourselves. We bought a while ago and we each got one and it's by the company. It actually doesn't say it on here. I mean, on this one, it says Hero Collector, which is the shop, but I'm pretty sure it says it right here. The brand is Eagle Moss. And what it is is also a self-contained kit, but for knitting. And the ones that we got, are these right here. We got ourselves, much like the Legos, okay? A his and hers of houses. We've got Gryffindor, and I almost called you a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Hufflepuff, um, as scarves. So the whole kit is in here. I, am I correct in saying the needle is too? Yeah, kit includes the yarn, it includes the knitting needles, um, yarn needle, house crest patch, because as we know, the patch is on there. It's not shown in the picture, but let me give you a clip. Actually, it's shown up here. So I think, you know, because it's further down, but here is the whole scarf. And then to see the back, there's the colors. So I personally have taken um, a knitting class like many, many years ago. Uh, beginner's class, I made a scarf. Scarves are like one of the, they're, they're the beginner thing to make for knitting. Um, so I think it'll be easy and fun to get back into. And that's why, and I will say when we bought these, we bought them from, we couldn't find, they were hard to find. This brand was hard to find. But since hanging on to them, here's the perks of hanging on to these, um, they have made themselves uh, on Amazon. I can't speak, what are we saying here? Uh, this Hero Collector, which is up here, um, now has a whole section on Amazon. And so some of the others that we are considering, but we just started with these, is they have the Night Bus as a door stopper. I'll put an image over here. They have the Hogwarts Express. I don't know if that one's also a door stopper. They have stockings, they have socks, they have a a mug cozy. So it's like the, the Weasley sweater, although this one's yellow, um, and then Harry's is red. Um, yeah, they have little bags. All of them are just contained knitting kits. Um, so yeah, and I think these are also a really great gift idea, either to give to somebody or to get it, make it yourself, and then gift that to, this, to that somebody and make it seem like you knew what you were doing, you know what I'm saying? So there is the second fabric -y business in this category. And the last is also, I, I just love like crafting and making things and I haven't had too much time to do that. So these are all an excuse for me to dive back into it. Um, embroidery is something that I have wanted to get into. I have ideas, um, you know, things that I might wanna eventually sell. And this isn't a kind of beginner's embroidery kit. How much are you? 1468, not too shabby. So what this includes, is it the most exciting embroidery designs in my opinion? No, um, this is probably the one that I care for the most. And once you do the basic, which is the outline here, you could even go further. And you know, once you start to 
um, get a feel for how to embroider or learn new techniques, which I would like to do. You could even add in color because this one is more of a silhouette. So you can see the yarn like the others is included. Again, a good gift or a good thing that you can make for somebody else. And it comes with, I think it said like 10. Oh, there's six, no, there's one hoop. So the hoop comes in here, the fabric, pieces of calico, um, knitting needles, uh, the embroidery floss itself in the in 10 skeins, um, iron-on transfer sheets, because we have some wording and stuff. I think that's what's happening there. Or no, you iron-on transfer so that you can embroider over top because it's um, a beginning level, beginner level thing. But here are the other designs on this one. I'm pretty sure there's some other embroidery Harry Potter out there, but maybe you can see why that one is the one I'm most intrigued by. Maybe the dark mark? I don't know. If it glows in the dark, that would be cool because there is glow in the dark um, skeins of uh, thread. But yeah, that is the last kind of a fabric y item for activities. The last section, kind of, these are kind of like extra, I feel like. They're kind of your not so typical activities, DIYs, things you can do with your hands. Um, this one I have shown, I can't remember what video, but I'm going to show it again. I haven't made anything from it yet but I love the idea and it's a herbology magic book. Botanical projects, terrariums, and gardens inspired by the wizarding world. It, this is also by Inside Editions. Uh, retail price is $27.99, uh, not much cheaper, $24 and change on Amazon. So here is a close up of the cover. Very pretty, right? And then, here are the insides. I'll give you an example of some DIYs that you can do. What do we got here? Is that Hedwig? I don't know. What is this? It looks like a mossy sign. That's cool. Um, I don't know why it says for private drive because they didn't put that on there. Keep off the dirigible plums. So just a basic um, sign. Just everything. Um, I do want to make one of these at some point. I've mentioned that it'll probably be, so those are the directional wood signs. It'll probably be either during Halloween or Christmas. I kind of want to do some that are tailored, actually maybe both, that are tailored to each. Um, so we'll get into that when we get into that. But that is the first, I guess we'll call this the book section. I don't know. And maybe this is reaching, but I do feel cooking is an activity. Am I one very skilled in cooking? No, but sometimes having a cookbook can help out. It is an activity. You do things, you make things, your hands, you know, have to go places. Um, and if you don't know, the two of us are vegan. And if you don't know, there is, it's an unofficial Harry Potter vegan cookbook that is absolutely stunning. I think there's a couple on the market, but this one, highly recommend. So it is called the unofficial Harry Potter vegan cookbook, extraordinary plant-based meals inspired by the wizarding world. So one of the requirements for me when I'm getting a cookbook, because I don't keep too many, is the pictures need to entice me. There need to be pictures. If there's no pictures, I, I don't need it in my life. Um, it's not selling it for me, okay? I'm not just gonna read your words. And this one has a forward by Ivana Lynch, because if you don't know, Ivana Lynch is vegan, which really suits her as a character, I feel like, and probably why I connect with Miss Luna Lovegood. Um, but let me give you an example of like some of the food options. They're so themed and so pretty. Um, what's a good one? Mince pies. Here is an image of the mince pies. Great Lake diving dip. Like, look at the colors. These are some, some gorgeous photography in this book. Um, look at the colors in that right there. Give me all them slytherin -y vibes. Fine. Okay, these are the real Slytherin vibes. Cunning green crudite. Fancy. I've heard it. I uh, just clearly don't know how to say it. Uh, bored. Look at that. How pretty. I will say one thing about these photos. They, some, to some degree, feel unachievable uh, by like, somebody like me. Um, peppermint toads right there. So cool. This book actually came out, I think. Oh my God, we need to do that. We need to get a little cauldron and have some cauldron crisps. Look at those, I'm a sucker for potatoes. But anyway, let me give you a quick flip through so you could see there are, and there's a little bit, I think a bottle Lynch was in the back there. Where is that? Where's Miss Luna? Do we need to see? I don't know. Oh, well, they even got like the Ford Anglia peeking. They add little Harry Potter things in each photo. So here's an example of how much 
This is a horrible display, Aubrey. I'm a real professional here, but you get the gist. Lots of photo options, all plant-based. Um, we'll have to do something. We'll have to do, I don't know. If you wanna see a vlog of me attempting to cook, let me know, magically, of course. Let me know in those comments down below, but you guys, those are some activities. That was a lot of activities. Um, so if you can think of any more that I haven't covered, do let me know, but I gotta get started on these. I got a lot, to, I got a lot. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't have a lot of time. <laughs> I need to find the time to do some of these. Um, but have you done any of these? What are some of your favorite activities, even if it's not Harry Potter, just like, do you knit? Do you crochet? Um, what kind of artsy craftsies, think, artsy craftsies do you get into? <laughs> and like I said, if you uh, know of any others that are Harry Potter, um, let me know in the comments down below. I mean, of course you can like DIY your own potions and stuff like that, and we'll get into DIY, so there's that too. But these are all like self-contained, buy it off the shelf activities, there you go. Um, so let me know in those comments down below, all of your thoughts and feels, but until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video, bye.